Hello again. Now this week, in fact today, is actually my birthday, so I'm going to do something quite fittingly self-referential, which is actually a feature of a lot of crossword clues. Now, if you think about the clues, they are written by a setter, and you are the solver, and you are actually both potentially part of the clues and part of the answers. It's almost a conversation between the setter and you sometimes. So I'll give you a quick example and you'll, and you'll see what I mean. One day I learned to write on the uh, right width of the board. But setters taken in a short worker, perhaps. Five letters. Setters taken in a short worker, perhaps. Now, perhaps, quite often, as I've said before, is a piece of functionality. So you could easily be forgiven for going down that end, looking um, at functionality and looking at the other end for definition. But in fact, this is going to turn out to be your answer. And the principle I want to indicate is all about this. Setters, apostrophe S. Now, you could often go on a, you can go thinking about dogs. There's a type of dog called a setter, so you go down that thinking, setter is something, so a dog, what, what do dogs do? You can get lost in that avenue for a while. But in this case, the setter is talking to you as themselves. So setters, its possessive is my because the setter is saying, my, it's a straight break. Not, we'll deal with the rest of it later. But in this instance, the setter is indicating that this, it's simply another way of saying the setters as in my. It's a bit of a tricksy one, but it, it, you'll see it now and again. And it's really important to know because otherwise you have no idea what on earth that's doing there. Once you've got that, it's taken in A, Short worker, we did the natural world, we did bees and ants as workers. It's a short worker because it's missing its second E, so it's B missing its second E, so setters, my, taken in A, short worker, B, perhaps, maybe, five letters. But that's just an indication of how this is a person writing this clue, talking to you as it were. The other way around doing it is this. fit this one in. Childlike solver, no good initially. Five letters. Childlike solver, no good initially. Now if setters is my, or me, in some cases it can be all of those variations, look out for everything. Setter on its own could be me. Solver is you. This is being written from the setter's point of view. You are the solver. The solver is you. No good initially. N G. Childlike young. Solver, no good initially. So that is just a five letter word meaning childlike. But this is just to introduce that concept. You are the solver, the setter is me, I, you uh, are the solver. So um, you, your, yours could all be in there. And you just have to know that you have a part to play in the clue sometimes, in the answer as well. You'll see lots of other things. I mean, they're, they're more standard substitutions like I had being abbreviated to I'd. And I will pause, this probably isn't the place to mention this, but I will just say the phrasal clues that we talked about last week that have many words in them, uh, take an expression like um, standing on your head. You could do that, standing on your head. It would not be entered into a crossword clue as your. It would be entered as one's, standing on one's head, because they are always in the dictionary form. So if we're dealing with all the pronoun stuff, just remember that the four letter word in any expression where you would normally say your, take your life in your own hands, take one's life in one's own hands, it will always be written like that because they are yeah, in their dictionary form. I'm not entirely sure why that is, just a bit of a convention I think. But the important thing to remember if you're dealing with I and you and one is that the setter is me in the clue and the solver is you. So good luck and happy solving.